In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision, I, John, saw Mount Zion, and standing on it, a lamb who had with him a hundred and forty-four thousand people, all with his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound coming out of the sky like the sound of the ocean or the roar of thunder. It seemed to be the sound of harpists playing their harps. There, in front of the throne, they were singing a new hymn in the presence of the four animals and the elders, a hymn that could only be learnt by the hundred and forty-four thousand who had been redeemed from the world. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They have been redeemed from amongst men to be the first fruits for God and for the Lamb. They never allowed a lie to pass their lips, and no fault can be found in them. The Word of the Lord Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Even if you have to die, says the Lord, keep faithful and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus looked up, he saw rich people putting their offerings into the treasury. Then he happened to notice a poverty-stricken widow putting in two small coins, and he said, I tell you truly, this poor widow has put in more than any of them, for these have all contributed money they had over. But she, from the little she had, has put in all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today's Gospel speaks about the spirit of love and give. What does the poor widow have to do with the vision in the book of Revelation? The vision speaks of those who follow the Lamb. They never allow a lie to pass their lips and no fault can be found in them. We associate a lamb with gentleness and meekness, simple, joyful innocence. As Christians, we also associate a lamb 
with Jesus, who was meek and humble of heart. He is the one who was unblemished by deceit and sacrificed everything for our sake. The widow offered her whole livelihood for the sake of love. And Jesus tells us today that it is not what we offer out of our excess, but what we offer out of our need that communicates love. We all are poor. Yet, Jesus pressed the poor widow who gave the smallest of coins in contrast with the rich who gave greater sums. How can someone in poverty give more than someone who is rich? Jesus' answer is very simple. Love is more precious than gold and wealth. If we love and give for our own sake, to be recognized, to be praised, to be in control, then our loving and giving is not free of deceit or unblemish. Only when we let go of our desire for attention, esteem and power do we truly love and give of our whole livelihood, our very self. As we come to the end of this liturgical year, it is good to be reminded of what Jesus' sacrifice meant and what the poor widow's sacrifice meant. Do we sacrifice ourselves in the same way? Do we love and give of our whole livelihood without thought of cost, risk, reputation, esteem, control, to follow the Lamb? Let us now offer up all our petitions and prayers to God in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.